everyone, Miss Rachel here again. I'm gonna teach you guys today how to do some homemade Play-Doh. So these are all some really basic ingredients that again, you hopefully have in your house already. So we're just gonna get started. So I have over here two and a half cups of flour. We have one cup of salt, and then one tablespoon of cream of tartar or alum, whatever you have in your house will work. Three tablespoons of oil, and then one and a half cups of boiling water, and then some food color. So, to get started, we're just gonna put our dry ingredients over here, all together in a bowl, and mix it up. So, move the flour, salt, and the cream of tartar. Okay, and now I'm just gonna mix this all up until it's just evenly mixed. Okay, next up, what we're gonna do is take our food coloring, but we're not gonna put it into the dry ingredients because if we try to do that, it's not gonna mix evenly. So I'm gonna take the cup of boiling water and then just put a couple of drops, however many you want, into the water. Obviously, the more food coloring that you use, the darker of a color that you're gonna get. And then, you can either stir it with a spoon or just you know, mix it up a little bit so it all dissolves in evenly. And now, we're gonna add our wet ingredients to the water and the oil we're gonna put into our Play-Doh. Now we're just gonna mix it up, and then once a dough shape kind of starts to form, you can start to mix it a little more with your hands, and that'll really get a good dough shape. Okay, now that it's all mainly mixed, I'm gonna start to use my hands and just kind of knead it together. And if I find that it's still a little too sticky and not quite the Play-Doh texture that I want, I'm just gonna add a little more flour until it gets to that same kind of Play-Doh texture. Okay, so mine's still not really forming the dough shape that I want, so this is what I'm gonna add a little more flour just to try and get it to not be super sticky and stuck on my hands. Okay, so I have more in there now, so I'm just gonna mix it up and hopefully this will be a good kind of dough feel now. Make sure if you're adding more flour, just do a little bit at a time because obviously we can always add more, but we can't take it out. Okay, and we're all done. Now I have a nice little ball of Play-Doh and this usually will last me about two weeks when I make it for the classroom. Once the kids are done playing with it, I just ball it all back up and I put it into a Ziploc bag. Just any sort of airtight container will be fine. And that usually lasts me about two weeks before it starts to get a little too crumbly or dry. So hopefully you guys have a lot of fun doing this at home. I hope you guys let us know how you enjoy it. Bye!